Today we're going to look at uh, how to prepare an image for use in Pictoweave. We're using a freeware application called Earthen View, which is a file viewer and uh, has limited um, editing capabilities. So we'll go straight ahead and uh, open a file. And the one we have today is of a uh, of a barramundi, and we'll uh, start out by cropping this image to get it as close as possible, so that the only thing in the image is the fish itself, which we want to use in the in the weave. So we'll crop that down. And as you can see, we've removed anything that's uh, that's not going to be part of the weave. Okay, so that's pretty much usable in Pictoweave as it stands. Uh, so what we're going to do is save that file as a bitmap file, and we'll call this one full sized. And then we'll also save it again as a JPEG file, which is uh, commonly used on the internet, and um, we'll call this a small file. Now, what we'll do is, uh, with the small file, we'll resize it to to a size that you would commonly see on the internet. So we'll we'll um, resize this to something like 200 pixels wide. and 72 so once again we'll just save that as a small JPEG now that's um, a quite a common sort of occurrence to have that size file on the internet and uh, I'll go ahead now and demonstrate uh, why you um, you should keep your, your files for Pictoweave as large as possible. So we'll just start Pictoweave. There we are. Loading now, and I'll just resize in there. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, start a new project, and we'll just leave that a default. We'll just evaluate those. As to um, two files, if I can see where I actually saved them to. So we'll just go back to Victor Weave and say where do we save that to? And Barramundi, okay. <clears throat> okay. We'll just uh, first of all we'll have a look at the details of the full-sized image, and you can see for our 20 mil width we're going to want a 10 mil uh, height, so we'll reduce this down to 10 millimeters, and we'll use plane B for the wrap thread in plane A for the design thread. Okay, now we'll bring that full sized image in and you can see that um, we've got quite good definition of the image and it's going to be a relatively simple process to um, to create that weave. Um, if we look at areas like the eyes we can Choose a nice gold colour, and, and we've got enough detail there to do the uh, to do the eyes and other details like the gill breakers here and so forth. So there's enough detail there. Now what we'll do is we'll um, clear that background image, and we will load the small image in just to show you the difference. And you can see that um, because the image has been stretched from a very small size to a large size, it's become very pixelated. So to uh, 
to define those if I just clear this area here back off to define those details has, has become very hard it's very hard to see all the detail in the fish so once again I'll just bring that other image back in the full sized image and you can see just how much clearer that full sized image is and uh, the larger the file size the less it has to stretch the better your resolution is going to be of course the, the larger your weave size um, the more uh, individual squares you're going to put in to the uh, inside of that picture once again the better your uh, resolution on your finished weave will be so that's uh, the conclusion of this tutorial Thank <phone> you. <rings>